welcome to dark tech technologies in this lecture we will discuss a uh, interconnected bus system load flow analysis in this in the previous lecture we discussed about a load flow analysis of single line diagram so in this lecture i decided to give the introduction of interconnected bus system as you can see that total four buses are used all are interconnected between each other in this lecture i will tell you how you can find the swing how you select a swing bus in it as you can see that i have a question load for analysis in interconnected and radial system this system is a radial system so the first question be how we can select a slack bus slack bus means swing bus so how we will select a swing bus in it for swing bus we have to select a bus at at which the generator has no active and reactive value mentioned as you can see that this generator has active reactive value mentioned this this one and this all these three buses are active and reactive power are mentioned but in the bus one no active reactive power is mentioned for the generator so i uh, will select a generator one okay i hope that will clear uh, as you can see that and this bus num bus number is selected as a swing bus and this bus will be selected as a low generator bus and this one is also selected as a generator bus and this one is selected as a generator bus okay i hope that will clear so in this lecture we will discuss how to find a losses in the transmission line and how to do the load flow analysis of a radial and interconnected system and many things so now i uh, for if you want to place a horizontal bus for horizontal bus you have to select click on here and then again click on here you will get a horizontal bus for vertical bus you will get from here all the load values are selected as you can see that all load values are selected you can see that okay so now how we will do the load flow analysis of the system just go to the power flow go to the solution click on the solve click on this and here you will get the option for newton raphson gauss seidel and robur solution we will do the newton uh, newton raphson full newton raphson method and click on and here we will select do not start flat and start flat and click and var limit apply automatically and click on the solve so now load flow analysis is done this is the output bar you have to drag to the top here we will get the load flow analysis that result have the system reach the tolerance reach tolerance in almost two iteration so the system is converged in the two iteration so here is the swing bus generated power is active power is 200 megawatt and reactive power generator is 105 megawatt and these are the newton raphson result i hope that will clear your mind about how to do a load flow analysis of interconnected and radial system hey in this net click on network data we get the bus voltages bus voltage and bus angles i can see that these are the bus angle at e bus and also uh, normal voltages as well so the lab is this lab is done in the word file and you can see that all the questions are done these are the output you can see that so the one question is remaining what are the active and reactive power losses how you can check the active and reactive power loss you have to check if you want to see the result between uh, uh, bus number 1 to 3 you have to check these five as you can see the 35.9 and 36.9 okay you can see that 35.9 to 35.9 so there is no change in the power as you can see there so uh, so we can say clearly that there is no loss in the power from one bus to another as you can see that you have to compare these both values 
you will get the res result of losses in the transmission line if you there is a, any different between these both values you have to subtract both value you will get the losses in the transmission line so that the lab is are done for the task 2 can you you can clearly see that uh, for task 2 for task 2 they are saying that which bus name the bus types so we have done the bus type i can see that the bus number one is a slag bus bus number two is a generator bus and all the three buses are selected as a load bus why you are selected the load bus because active and reactive power are mentioned or p and q values are mentioned on these buses so first you can google about it how what is the uh, slag bus generator bus and load bus i hope you understand thanks for watching if you have any question you can ask in the comment section as well thanks for watching goodbye